This one is a male genital piercing. It's generally done in pairs. Super extreme. Today we're talking about the Dido piercing. The Dido piercing is a piercing through the corona of the head of the penis. This is basically where the shaft of the penis meets the head, and then you're going to have a mushroom-shaped ridge going around. We're going through that ridge area. Now, to start off with, this one is a very anatomy-dependent piercing. If you don't have a very pronounced ridge or it doesn't stick out very far, you're not going to have the anatomy to support the jewelry. Then this piercing is going to reject out, and I've heard they can even possibly crack, which sounds terrible. So that's why if you don't have the right anatomy, don't get this piercing. Now, this piercing, if you do have the anatomy, is amazing, and it's typically done with a curved barbell typically a 14 gauge, sometimes a 12 gauge if your body can support it. Now, this piercing is typically done in pairs, kind of at like the 10 and two range, but it depends on your anatomy. If it's gonna look better higher up or a little further out, go for it. And once in a while, you're gonna have someone who has enough of a ridge on the very top center where you can actually get that single centrally located piercing. Now, a lot of these piercings can be very uncomfortable to heal up, especially during an erection. Now, the reason why is these little dried crusties, dried lymph fluids that'll be on your jewelry will get pulled inside and you want to prevent that from happening. So when you go to sleep at night, go to sleep with a cup of ice water next to your bed so you can actually soften up those crusties so it doesn't hurt as much and keep your piercing clean. You need to be cleaning this piercing two, three times a day for the first several weeks and then back off as long as it's healing up pretty well. Now, the more you keep the crusties off, the more comfortable it's going to be. Now, the other thing you need to keep in mind is that these are barbells and these beads will come unthreaded. So I want you to check these beads on a daily basis. The jewelry can come out, you can lose your piercing real quick, and it's not a fun one to have redone. And as far as an estimate on time, you're probably looking at a minimum of three months for these to be fully healed, but I have seen them take up to six months to completely heal. Now this piercing's a real tough one to clamp, so a lot of times it's done freehand, and it's not the fastest of piercings. And there's generally two of them. It's gonna be rough. Let's check out the pain meter Straight to the top. I don't think I've ever seen the pain meter do anything like this before, and it stays up there. This is a rough one. I think this is a great genital piercing. It looks cool. It's a balanced symmetrical piercing. We know I like those. And I'm going to be honest, it makes me feel a little bad each time I have to do one of these because I know how bad it hurts. But at the same time, the more scary and rough it is, the more you appreciate a piercing. So I am a fan, but it is a rough one. It does take a while to heal and keep it clean. And definitely seek out a good piercer for this piercing. I'm always curious what you think of piercings this extreme. Let me know down below. Now, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and of course, keep putting holes in your body. We'll see you all in the next video. I feel bad for the wieners.